Jack Deloper. Um, this may be a shorter stream since I will be going live later with Koru and the Hobbits. Actually, I probably won't. I I won't stream it myself, but I'll I'll be streaming with her. Like I'll be playing a lot later. Um, Koru day, so I won't actually be streaming, but. I do want to get back to my Voyager run soon, but I, I like focusing on like one run at a time. Is that the load sound? I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Because I heard the little birds, but I think it was just the load sound. Okay. A little cold in here. Image of PV <coughs> cave near fishing hut. Yes. Oh look, he's out of the he's out of the rock now. Um, that's nice. Else, I really haven't been very good at keeping up with this. So farmhouse, have bear meat, bear hide, guts. Hyde is now at the um, farmhouse. Very long, but um, did I also mark? Uh, Red Barn now has, I think, six guts. A few wolf pelts. Okay. <clears throat> oh, it's even colder now. Great. It's not gonna be warm. Uh, it's yeah, it's not going to be warm enough to use the sleeping bag, so I'm just going to go for it. I'm fairly certain that if I head this way, how much fuel do I have? Okay, if I head this way, I will hit the fishing hut. I was thinking about going back to the farmhouse, so I'm not going to do that. But if I go this way, I will hit the fishing hut and I can warm up there while I fish. Whew. Sure getting cold. You're fine. I get wet. That's really more of an issue right now. If I don't warm up soon. Back on the ice. Fishing hat. Rising out of the blizzard. I left my pot here, so it's good that I came back. Because I left my pot. Don't want to leave that behind. I've actually been really bad about that lately. I'm usually very good about remembering to grab it, but... Long oh. little fire. Uh, one coal and just a bunch of sticks. We'll just throw that many sticks on. That should get us there. And it should just get warmer from here, so it's not gonna issue. So that once I do catch a fish, I can just go ahead and cook it. She eyes didn't load right away. <clears throat> Fishy! Yay! Okay, I was I was getting concerned that I wouldn't get a second fish. Slightly bigger. I'm gonna use the other one as bait. Hours. 
Spiders. That's good. They were foggy. Just fog. No, it's not starting yet. two hours. Now it shows you that you smelly with the bait. Maybe you just have to hold a certain amount of bait. with him if they don't have to. Not be smelly at all. I don't want to surprise the bear, so I gotta be careful with that. Should be faster.
I've never felt so cold in my life. and moose are really my big concern as far as physical safety goes because like I could get jumped by a wolf but it wouldn't do a ton of damage with all the protection I have on me but getting mauled by a bear would really set me back in the clothes department and the health department so more of a concern to me than wolves of course getting stopped by a moose would up my ribs. These are much easier to avoid though. You're like actively hunting them. Stay in one spot. I can care. I'd like to get some ptarmigan so I can make broth. really like hard to get. Not going after you tomorrow. We don't need them for food, it would just be for the hide, but it would take a while to cure. I don't think I need the fire for anything. We've got a good stack stash of water. All right, they're cured. Okay, so tomorrow I will get started on the moose cloak. But my oh my stove is getting so close to being ruined. a good amount of lantern fuel. See if I'll get maglens whether or not. If I do, I'll go after the deer. Nope, too foggy. Have to wait.
drop any of this gear. The thing is that it it doesn't affect carry capacity though, having the condition be a little lower. So I'm just gonna go for the the moose satchel. I cloak. I cloak. Knife. I have the whetstones to repair the knife. It doesn't give as much warmth, but at this stage in the game it doesn't really matter. It's mostly the waterproof and the protection that I want. Light enough that I can see without needing the lantern. Yep. I used the bear hide to, um, the bear bedroll to repair it. I should be at like 0% risk for cabin fever because I just spent like five days outside in a cave and in a fishing hut. So we should be fine as far as cabin fever goes to just like bang this out. I'm actually feeling kind of hopeful about that job um, that I applied to because the listing was taken down. So I got my application in. It had just opened up four days before I applied um, and they took it down. So that means that, in my eyes, that means that it's an active listing and they only wanted so many resumes to go through and mine got in that cut of, okay, we have enough resumes now we're going to go through them. So, we'll see how that goes. I probably, um, I'm still just looking around on an Indeed. Excuse me, I have the hiccups. Um, but I will, I was looking at, there's a website called Flex Jobs that is almost like you are paying for the opportunity because it's sort of subscription-based. Um, but, so that means, like, it's going to be a narrower pool of candidates, so you might have a better chance of getting the jobs, and it means that the jobs on there are going to be all the legit jobs, they're not going to be, like, some scam jobs like you can get on Indeed and stuff. So, if, uh, I don't hear back from this job soon, I'll probably start applying to those, but I also don't want to just, like, start applying to, like, so many jobs at once.
sharpened my knife last night. Oh, rope deal. Okay, well, we can sharpen it right now. There's. I'm so glad this workbench is down here and not up where you can hear the wind outside. <laughs> okay, uh, nice. down things so they're not littering up and I'm like oh what's that oh never mind there we go. just put that away oh dead bug's live I like dead bug I never get to catch his streams though Okay, can we craft? Let's see what it looks like outside. This stupid lantern noise is so annoying. And if it's a Maglens weather day. Nope, not at all. Let's finish this thing. Have more upstairs. Away. Okay, I think we can finish it in one go, though. Right? Yeah, two hours. Let's do it. I did just craft a second sure wolf coat. I, bet. <laughs> I did just craft a second wolf coat recently, so I'll have to no, abandon one of those. But that's fine. Water. But this looks like. Oh, you look very dapper, Ashton. Why am I carrying those around? I don't need those. How long have I been carrying those for? Alright, let's swap you out, drop you, and we'll mark notes. Uh, farmhouse. We have a wolf coat. Back and all that's been here. Should already be on the list, right? I'll put, I'll put it. Oh. Okay, doke. Um, you still need some time. Our sprint is about the same, so that's not bad. Um, protection is actually better than with the bear coat. So, and we're lighter than with the bear coat. So I think that is what I'm going for is we have not as warm as we could be with like bear or double bear but we have protection and we have a very waterproof so but I do need to repair my deer stuff so let's see if we can get some deer hides 
What's it look like? Oh, a beautiful day. Windy, but... Was a buck, but he must have just been. Have archery five closer to her. I don't fully remember how close we can get before she spooks. Oh, hello. She's coming straight for me. Oh. Yeah. Lovely. Hello, ma'am. Thank you very much. Now, it is Maglen's weather, but it's windy. And I think it's going to be too windy for a fire. Eh, we can start it and see. If it stays alive or not. <laughs> We're gonna have to sacrifice coal. Started. Ooh, she's she's got some good stuff on her though. There we go. Okay, we're warming up. I'm gonna get that going and then I'll get to hide. Nice, very nice. Not gonna worry about the guts. I mean, if we have enough time left on the fire, I will go out. Yep, flew out. Oh. Unfortunate. That's okay. I'm gonna finish harvesting this real quick. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Be able to add some sticks. Keep it going. Not showing. It's very windy. Still hot enough to keep me warm, which is good. I don't think I'm going to be able to sustain it after that, so... Grab everything and run. Bear is not in the equation. Wolves. That would be a nuisance. But I think they'll leave me alone. This pack is getting kind of heavy. I actually have better sprint than with the wolf. That was double wolf coated for a while. Let's drop the raw piece. 
fast, we'll drop the guts here. Hide here. Put stuff out here. set up here. I like this as a base. It's a good set up for a base. Good build up, I guess. How long do you take total? 12. Okay, and it's just over half. So I have maybe a week left before that's cured. accurate all the deer hides. Okay, I haven't updated my stuff in a while. I got lazy with it. So I think the only map that I haven't been to on this run is the Forsaken Airfield. Because I've been to Bleak, I've been to I got out of HRV and didn't fully explore it. I just spawned there and then got out. But I've been there. Um, I kind of am tempted to go to the airfield on the Loper. I haven't done that before. And I have good clothes at the moment. Once I get everything built up, maybe we'll head there. with some big feelings. Leave it. Good girl. Spending five would be a bonus. I don't know how to get that though without just destroying my, you know, sound kits and stuff. And wasting Um, let's tear down those shoes before bed. Which is getting worn enough. I'll need a parrot. I'll have enough to get through the morning now. Alright. Snow if the hypothermia wouldn't kill me. Okay, um, do I want to stick around here? I'm done crafting. Cure, but that's gonna take. I may go find the the I have a smell.
It's not bad calories for flour. Yeah, I don't have flour, okay. Flour for all of the meat things, don't you? I don't have meat. I really can't do any cooking. I'd make those. Those are not bad. A little bit of time outside sharpening my knife and harvesting the burdock. I just have it. Like, I don't know if I want to use it as tea or just eat it. So I'm just going to keep it in that form for now. Same with the, the acorn. I, I had kept the acorn. Okay, my emotional sports soda is about to die. I still have the acorn grounds because I don't know what to do with it. I had really bad luck collecting bear hides. I want to bleed. There is one in Coastal, and I do kind of need to go back there for my arrowheads. Also, deer hide. Go to Mystery Lake and see what is actually accurate in this. All right, good talk. I need to go all the way over to that side of the map. Blizzard does not look very nice. Underweight, how did that happen? Coal, we don't have a ton of coal at the moment, that's why. It'll be good then to go back through the cave. Get some more coal. Alright. And I left a ton of matches in Mystery Lake too. Bring the birch. I have birch and Mr. Lee. Give that one birch here for emergency. Hello, Den. How are you? Guessing what my plans are. Yes, day 150, I think. Uh, so, oh my gosh, wow. Um, <laughs> well, I just spent a couple days crafting. Um, and it was in that awkward in between, yeah, where it was like, it said 155 or 154, but this said 152. So I was like, I know it's just about to tick over, but that's like what the technical is. And then I spent like two days crafting. So, yep. Getting there. Over two thirds or over three quarters of the way to my PB. Yes. Very excited. Um, what am I looking for? Guts. Do I have guts?
I'm oh. heading back to coastal. Give me because I need to get a bear hide that's there to repair my bedroll. And I need to get the arrowheads that I left behind. Um, the barn should have guts that are cured too that I can grab, so maybe I'll leave a couple here for future me. <laughs> yes, I like, I like, okay, and, and these I actually think might be out of date. Destroyed looking, I'm keeping that, I meant to type look out, and I said destroyed looking. <laughs> um, so, farmhouse does not have any whetstones. Is water. Yep. There are sewing kits. There is one bear hide. There are four guts. There's a wolf coat. There's a mackinaw. Um, what else important here? One birch. And then there is some food. I'm probably, what is the bet? Oh my gosh, look, that looks so gross. <laughs> Poor Astrid has to eat that. <laughs> yes, the space capsule. Um, okay, so that's 0.2 for 400 calories versus, okay, that they're about, they're about even. That one's not moldy. Why is that one so much grosser? They're all ruined. Oh, it's got 1% left. Whereas that has 0%. That makes sense. Yep, nasty. We're also about to lose the emotional support soda. It's got 1% left on it. Okay. Do I want... Potatoes? I think this has marginally more calories to it. We'll bring two of these and one potato. I'm not sure I can carry much more. Yes, for future us. I don't actually know if that's enough to cook more or not. Um, I don't think so. But let's see. I don't think so. I think the only thing that affects calories is cooking level. Um, off, I just repaired my leather cap. Or is it blizzarding? Uh, it doesn't look great. I don't really want to go in that because I need to go to the, the red barn. But I have my inventory ready, so whenever it's, it is good weather, I can just go. Yeah, okay. Um, I made the moose hide cloak just now. And I actually have better sprint than I did with double wolf coat. And the warmth, I don't think is quite as good, but it didn't make too much of a difference, yeah. So I think my new combo when I have the best is gonna be gear. moose wolf, cause still got great protection. And at this point in the game, yeah, it looks nice. Um, but at this point in the game, uh, warmth isn't, I'm never really going to be warm, so a couple degrees isn't going to make too much of a difference. I leave. That looks like it's down. <clears throat> okay, 
My only thing is visibility. Is it gonna block my visibility? I think we're good. I'm just gonna make it for the barn. I'm going back to coastal. So I'm just gonna run to the barn. Why does my shirt look like it's two different colors? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's go. I don't think I left anything downstairs that I don't want to leave. Not sneaky. Getting very good at the wolf kill without using a torch. Oh, I'm very happy about that. Because <laughs> that saves me on matches. Yeah, I was really... The, the thing that gave me confidence to try it was having the vest. I wouldn't have tried it without having the vest. Oh, of course, now it's getting... Now the visibility is not great. Gonna think that's where the barn is, and we're just gonna go for it. See you. I'm freezing. Where's that the barn? Where's that an outbuilding? That might be the barn. So having, having the vest, I think, is going to be my new loper strat. It's really makes me feel like she's not just going to die at any corner. Um, you do have to explore... A lit like once you get to the right spot at the prison it's pretty straightforward to get to but getting to where you need to go in the prison like the first step is what's kind of tricky once you get on the right path you're, you're fine it's, it's not hard to find um, but just getting that first step, it's kind of hidden to the entrance to that area. But really, it's not... Once you get to the prison, there's not Timbies. So that becomes a lot easier. There is Black Wolves, but we know how to deal with those as long as it's not windy. And then there is um, a bear sometimes. But there's no Timbies once you get to the prison. The Timbies are just outside of the prison area. I left Guts here, right? Yeah, did I walk past him? Yep. You're so mean. Why are you growling? You found it before, right? I think you found it at one point on Voyager. I want to get to know Blackrock better. Um, what am I making? I need to repair my deer stuff. I probably and the bedroll. What do I need to repair? Oh, you don't need guts to repair, you just need cloth. Okay, that's fine. And I think I'm good with the guts that I have on me. I'm not gonna sleep, I'm just gonna pass a little bit of time till she's warm.
Um, I feel like I know Bleak pretty well. Like, it's really not a very hard map to learn. So I think HRV and Black Rock out of the main maps are really the ones that I don't know very well. And Ash Canyon. I know, like, I don't know. I felt like I knew it when I was playing story mode. But now I, I d really don't know the outside of the prison very well. I'm excited for the other two regions to come out so that I can do a just far territories run. So I want to do a loper run in just the far territories. I think that'll be really fun because it's all new, and so it's just kind of it's kind of like playing the game for the first time again to have only new regions. Even if you know it a little bit, like you don't know the spawns. Why are you yelling? <laughs> yeah. Jesus, this is cold. I liked Forsaken Airfield when I was there. It is huge. But I did like doing the tail and kind of exploring it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. It's so cold. This is a thing. Yeah, that is true. The coal might be an issue. Which is why if... I think one of the next ones is going to be a mine. Because I think there's... Um... There's the, uh... What's it called? In the transfer pass area, there's like some signs. And I think one of them says mine. So if if another region is a mine that has a lot of coal, that would be fun, you know, to be able to do a, a just far territory run. But that would be a good coal source. I feel like I left something curing. Hey dear, how are you? Yep, more looper. What, uh, what day is your run on? I just want to lay down for a bit. Did I check in here? I feel like this is where a recipe might have been, but I I know I checked in here and I didn't find one, so maybe not. If it's in a drawer, I wouldn't have gotten it because it wouldn't have spawned. Oh, I haven't actually found any recipes on this run, but like I just said, I've looted everything, so if they spawn in drawers or car uh, corpses, I wouldn't have found them. Nice. Sneaky. I don't need to. <laughs> oh, 
I also haven't been looking very closely though, because I, I knew that I had already looted everything, so. But I feel like on my Voyager run I found one here, but I have multiple spawns. Definitely excited for when I'm able to do a brand new loper with the recipes and see like how much you actually get, how much um, material or you know ingredients you actually get. Because I had already searched everything on this run. Okay, I. I think I checked all the kitchens here. No, I uh, went back through and looked at all the kitchens. Definitely went there. I didn't go in here though. This is this is a good spawn. Oh, I haven't found the bunker yet. Probably should, but... I haven't been back up by the plane crash area because I had already looted it on the side. Freezing. I guess if I head back to Timberwolf at any point, I'll check. Yeah, I, I haven't really, I don't think I've found, except for the Forlorn Muskeg one, I don't think I've found any of the new bunkers. I think I know where one is in Mystery Lake, but I haven't been there yet. Um, the normal bunkers you can just find. For the... Like, the 
ones that have corn and, and ham and stuff and the the story stuff um those you need the signal void but i think the nine one the nine bunkers are just there right i'm wrong dear <laughs> But I think they're just like the space capsule, where they're just there. Are you tempting me? Did I say I hate being cold? Because I really do. Wait, I'm so cold, I'm warming up a bit. Yeah, you can see them. I've, I've been to the one here in Pleasant Valley, um, looking for charm again, and I was like, oh, you can see it, but you just can't find it. Like, you can't interact with it. She's out in the hallway and I can hear her. <laughs> have like the you know like really scrunched face that makes some dogs snore really loudly she just snores <laughs> this is how she is the first night we had her we um put her in her crate at night because we were like we don't know like how she is if she's just gonna be destructive and just she loves her crate so she was happy to go in it but we like looked at each other that night because she was snoring so loudly and we were like is it because her neck is kind of like because the way she was sleeping her nose like her head was kind of smashed against the side we were like is it just that position like do we need to not crate her at night and we we don't anymore because she doesn't need it but we were like oh my gosh <laughs> she snores so loud Even though it hasn't been too long since I went through here, um, but I know that there's a big pile on the other side of coal. And grab all the coal. And I'm gonna burn all the fishing, or all the lantern fuel that I just spent time fishing to get. That 
side path. Wait, no, this goes... Yeah, okay. This goes to the platform. Can I go up? Can I jump here? Up. Oh, you can. Wow. Yeah. I always went back around. <laughs> Or down, but actually jump across like that. Cool. Okay. Request queue cleared on your channel or mine? <laughs> oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> I don't even know. Like, I think I've done that once. I just forget. I know Koru always says that she does yours, but I'm just like, mm. <laughs> I don't know what it does. I'm gonna need to rest soon. I'm very excited to see how Overcooked goes tonight. I've played it once with some people on Switch. I haven't played it on PC. Makes sense. I applied for a remote position yesterday. Um, what was it? It was... It's a application advocate at some sort of adult in uh, educational institution and I was like I mean that sounds up my alley so I applied for that and then the listing today when I went to look at it again on indeed was taken down and it had only been up for four days so that gives I was saying earlier in the stream that gives me hope that it was a legit listing and that my resume I know my resume made the uh, the queue before they took down the listing, so we'll see if anything comes of that, but I, if, if, if I don't hear back from them in a reasonable time frame, I'm gonna keep looking on Indeed, but, um, I'll probably sign up for flex jobs and see if, um, if there's any listings on there. I would prefer something part-time, and that was full-time, and I was like, mm. I applied for it because the job position itself sounded like I would like it. Yeah, because I've kind of, <laughs> I was saying yesterday, I've kind of given up on the base jobs just because it's so picky, the language that they use, and I know some of it is because, like, there are a lot of people here who apply for jobs, like, among the military spouses and there's only limited positions so like they can kind of afford to be picky but like I applied for the vet office on base as a receptionist position which I have six years of customer service experience and my resume didn't get handed on to the hiring manager because I'm assuming it's because there was one question that was um, do you have experience in medical reception which I don't and I'm like okay but I have all this experience in other reception work and customer service work and I'm not gonna be working as a vet so I don't you know like it, it just feels like something that would be on the job training and they don't seem to really want to do on the job training or you know not that they don't want to do on the job training but they want you to have that experience already rather than the transferable skills that you would use and I'm like okay the same thing happened at the cafe like a cafe a coffee shop um, where they were like you have um, food service experience which I actually don't um, I was lucky enough to not 
have to work at in food service before, prior to applying for that job. Um, and again, my application didn't get sent on to the hiring manager, even though I have the transferable skills because I didn't check that box. So exactly, and I figured that was it. But it just it, I knew that it was going to be a really competitive thing trying to get work on base. So I was kind of like, all right. I'll just start looking at remote. I just kind of wanted something to get me out of the house. So that's why I was kind of looking at stuff here. But, meh. I like I like being at home. I have my church, which is a good outlet for social interaction. I could probably find somewhere to volunteer or get involved in other base things to get me out of the house and not need to rely on a job to do that, so. So of course Dragon Ship is hiring, <laughs> let me know. <laughs> but um, I'll be looking for remote work, I think, because then that will be easier with moving and having a, you know, not having to to quit to move and then find another job. And it would be, if I find some place I like that I mesh well with, it would be nice to have that option. get her a little bit of sleep and then try and make it down to where I have some food because I don't like to eat the, the non-meat food if I don't have to. Oh, I mean... <laughs> Tired. Some jobs that I have seen, like, you have to actually, even if it's remote work, you do still have to be in, like, the physical location, so that's been narrowing down some things too that I can apply for. I mean, I'm not in any rush to get a job. I'd like to find something that fits me well. I'm lucky that I can afford to be picky. It made me so sad yo yesterday because I was looking at the UK indeed, just to see like, would it be worth it for me to try and work off base? And I was talking to Oliver about this yesterday. If I worked off base, it would probably be something customer service related. And I really don't like giving one more reason for the general public to treat me <laughs> poorly <laughs> with customer service. So I was like, I don't really know how I feel about being an, a, a military affiliated American working in the UK general public. Not to say anything bad about the UK public, but... I just didn't really think I wanted to do that, so that's why I'm mostly looking for remote rather than going off base, but I saw, <laughs> I have been meticulously checking the base hiring page for library positions because there's two libraries, um, there's two bases that have libraries um, that I a horse. are close to me, I I and I saw two listings <laughs> for the libraries on base um, that was open for the for the for UK residents or UK citizens and it was like you know part of the job requirement was must have resided in the UK for five or more years must be a UK um, citizen blah 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 and I was like <laughs> but but I want to work at the library <laughs> <sighs> so sad. And I knew that they mostly, like a lot of places on base, mostly hire, yeah, most places on base hire UK citizens. I think it's probably part of the agreement they have with the UK is that they'll provide you know, so many jobs for UK citizens. But it just made me so sad because I was like, okay, there's like zero chance of me being able to work in these libraries on base because... They're not hiring spouses. <laughs> They're just hiring UK residents. <laughs> so I was like, okay, I guess. Yeah. I, I, I 
figured that was the case because I knew that was the case for um, for Korea. So I figured that was the case for most. Food. Uh, there might be food. No, there's not a fishing hut near here. Food I have is down one more stop. I need to find some place to escape this cold. I'm gonna take a pit stop right here, Astrid. I know I still oh, have food in the fishing hut that's like I'm there. For shelter. Alright, done. Thank you for being here. Have a good rest of your day. I'm so tired because I keep running. <laughs> so I don't know if that was in the game or not. That's the fishing hut I'm going for. Cool. What the heck was that noise? It's like a weird cracking wrong. ice kind of noise. Maybe it's because the sound kind of fades in and out when she is, has the sprain pain. Almost three out of four. <laughs> three out of four meters. It'll be funny. She'll survive. Do I get oh, no. home more up soon? Just now. Just now, oh no. <laughs> At least you're still alive. My tip up. Alright, good luck. <laughs> he doesn't come to say hi. Oh, look at all those fish. That in calories, wow, so much food. <laughs> um, got a ton of bait fish, got a ton of water.
so I can see. I was trying to angle so that I hit the, um, the house across from Quonset. And that didn't I'm work. Little fire. The bow away. for like six hours. <laughs> You've been just playing your findings nice. I like it's morning. I'm gonna as well. Soon. Now, of course, it's foggy, so you can't see anything. <laughs> Stay in here. At least I'm getting some weight off of her. Um, drink another brush of tea. It's all the that I found. Oh, wow. Yeah, that would make it.
Where did we end up? Okay, yeah, we went too f we went too far. Okay, it's not the fishing head I thought I was at. There was a fishing head. Oh, I never searched anything right now. Oh yeah, my soda's ruined. Can't use it anymore. All right, go back here. Got plenty of fish to cook over here. The weird thing was, I was seeing trees that whole time. I definitely angled way too far. I thought I had just gotten like a little bloop. Can you eat trees? Because I'm gonna. I'm gonna eat a tree. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can see that adding a nice challenge without being like too bad. <sighs> I know that tip up is broken. It's been in the water too long. Do this again. I'm just gonna stay up all day. Come on, little fire. Come on. I have probably two flare guns and no flares. have all this water.
<laughs> yesterday going in a, in a blizzard, but... I'm, I am not, oh, that back. I'm just following this. It'll be fine. me. <laughs> when it popped up, I was like, is that a bear? That's actually the lowest my health has been in a long time, and that was making me nervous. I was stubborn and I was trying to stay up all day so that my sleep schedule could be back to normal. All better. Okay. So, air some stuff book now which is nice so I can get my fish up. Maglands weather maybe. Bear was really what was making me nervous. I didn't know if he'd <gasps> 
a moose. Ooh. We have a moosey boy. Alright, well, first things first. I'm gonna repair some clothes. Uh, do you? Oh, uh, the one I'm holding isn't here, duh. Gotta wait for that. But we can do the... I kind of want to take out that wolf first. Might be a nuisance. Alright, what is the best way to do Running for me or for the moose? There you go. That'll do it. Alright, it's very windy. Let's go look out the back and see what the situation is. Else miscellaneous I can drop. what the situation is here. Get out of the picture. Where'd the moose go? Now, I fought him from over there when I was doing it with the revolver. It was not a great setup. I feel like car ducking is going to be the best option with him here. Oh no, what was empty? <laughs> Excuse me. Why was he so close to me? That was terrifying. Did he just immediately charge me, or did I spook him? Well, I, now I don't want to get out, because I can't see.
There's two. Two wolves. Yeah, they really are. It sucks. I should have put that fire on the hood. Come on, little fire. I can't feel my feet. And I won't be in danger of dipping on it by accident. Too cold to think. Yeah, that would be interesting. I wonder how you would accomplish that. Is that the same wolf or were there just three wolves? Now I'm two arrows short. But it seems like it's the same wolf because he keeps going to the same spot. There's no good vantage point here though. Because that means I can only I can't do it like when you're on a tree you can get a couple shots in. I can probably only get one shot in at a time. Oh my gosh! That's crazy. Oh I didn't hit him. One or two arrows over there where he was standing. <laughs> Sounds like a great plan. Oh, 
so cold. I think that's the same wolf. the second time. I want to just go get the wolf, but then the moose might see me. But I feel like the wolf is going to run away from me at any point. Shot him twice, and then he's skittish. warm on the other side of the car. Reach. Oh. Alright, cool. Sucks that king. Do you have one or two arrows sticking out of you? I mean, two or three. No, I hit you twice. I don't know about the third one. What? Good girl, thank you for coming here. an odd get this wolf or find my other arrow. Yeah, no, the wolf is scared of me. Okay, here it is. Okay, so he's got three arrows in him right now. Oh, that arrow broke. Okay, good to know. It's a goddamn freezing. So I'm only missing one arrowhead to a wolf at the moment. How you doing, fire? 30 minutes. Oh, 
cold. My life. That's a lie, Ash. Once this battle's over, that's probably gonna be it. I'm not gonna be able to cook him today. But I wanna see if I can get him. Operates. Always do. That was a good one. That, that was very good if I do say so myself. jump in here and get a save because that is gonna be where I leave it for today um, but I'm very happy with that I will be on Koru's channel later today what day is it 159 survive for 158 um, but the hobbits will be doing a stream on Koru's channel later today if you would like to join I will at my discord um, when that happens I won't be streaming here but uh, we'll all be playing overcooked 2 most likely, if we can get it to work. Um, hopefully Tuna can join us, she's not sure yet. But, I will... And let me see, I, is Deadbug still on? Because if he is, I would like to raid Deadbug. Not. Okay. Oh, I thought I saw him go live earlier. I guess. Oh well, uh, we got cats, we got blades. Let's go see blades, I haven't seen him in a while. Amazon Prime Day is oh here. Two days of- Um, I like to wait for the ads to finish. Oh, that was the wrong command. That's the right command. Okay, cool. Uh, we'll go say hi to CJ or Blades. To be called. Um, and yeah, thank you for joining me. I hope everyone has a good day, and I will see you all later.